Okay guys, welcome back. So following on from a video we done about two weeks ago uh, on old driver versus new driver, we had one of Matt's old Big Bertha Alpha drivers that you just had kind of lying around from yep. yesteryear. We done a little test versus Freaky Deaky. Yep. Just to see how it compares and, and uh, see what the leakage is over time. For sure. A club that was bought six, seven years ago, not fitted versus yeah. a club that was new and fitted. Um, I think we saw the differences we expected to see. Mm -hmm. And then the one thing we got overwhelmingly requested was, what could you do to this head, meaning shaft change, yeah. to get better results? Because a lot of the shot pattern we got from this was due to a bit of a shaft uh, issue, I guess. It, it would have seemed that way, wouldn't it? That we were missing it on the left side. It seemed like the shaft was, was kind of in, in some form of deflection that was aiding the face staying open. Yep. Um, so we're going to take a dive in today and sort of take out that element Yeah, of it. take out so that element and then give someone who has an old head like this that they really like, give them some idea, is it worth you going in, spending your money for a fit, maybe buying a shaft yeah. with it to kind of revive that, bring it back to life. Um, and then we can isolate what part of the head is still a bit weak, maybe in strikes uh, and miss it. Yeah, I think that's, that's exactly it. So the only part that obviously you're going to be attached to, uh, you're not attached to the head, you are attached to the, the grip on the shaft. Yes. So you, you do have influence over that piece. For sure. And, and then that piece has influence on the head. So you, you're all connected in a chain of energy. Yes. So um, we want to see how much we can influence the chain. And Definitely. then see if we can sort of get that head into a, a situation where it is leaking less. I'd be very interested to see probably less so versus this versus Maverick. Mm. I'm, I'm more interested on this versus the new version of this. Mm. What does the customized version look like? Yes. I think it's fair to say in time, we're not going to see exactly what you saw from Maverick. I just no. think that we're, we're, not, we're not going to be able to, our, our technology is valid enough that we're For not sure. going to be able to make that argument. No, you're not going to be able to see the same consistency level. Again, we said it last time, you will see a few shots just as good. I think. I agree. And we did, we kind of did last time. Yeah, 100%. I think the yeah, you, last I one think you hit with that was, was great. Was the longest drive or something of that the you, day, you yeah. had hit. Yeah. So um, we'll hit a few with the current yeah. version of it. And then I'll let you start going nuts so that we've got the adapter for any shaft at this point, right? Yes. Yeah. We, so can, we can do we whatever. Can put, we can unifit it up and use our Club Connect system for that. So okay. we have set it up. We have five grams in the heel, three grams in the toe. We have the gravity core um, flipped. So the heavy weight is at the bottom to yep. lower CG. Okay. Lowering the CG, guys, is, is basically pulling that um, sort of CG lower down that weight lower to the sole, which is going to increase launch, decrease spin. When we do that, if we pull weight towards the bottom half of the head, what that basically does is even, even a strike in the middle will slightly tilt the head back and it will slightly decrease the spin through gear effect. Mm. Okay, so um, that's how we're able to influence the, the center gravity vertically. Gotcha. All, All right, right. Let's, well, uh, let's hit a few. Let's get some base liners from uh, okay. the old Alfie. Start. <laughs> That's the one. That's more like it. Yep, put a little bit of effort into squaring that one up. That's a nice drive. Cute. That felt fine, just went left. Okay. So very similar starting pattern to last time. Yeah, a couple pushes, one good, similar kind of deal, yeah. isn't it? No real difference. Let's hit two or three more. So that requires me to flip at it a bit. So you're working hard for that one. I tried to flip the, the face closed a bit, yeah. And so that squared it up. It wasn't a good strike, but it definitely got the ball more online. But it required, to me, it required effort or at yeah. least thought to make the ball go straight. It's decent, probably toey. Mm -hmm. It's definitely okay. feeling all over the place. Yeah, it's got that uh, variability to it. It's the mixed bag, that's what it is. <clears throat> Some good, some crap. Pretty big dispersion circle. Launch conditions, not bad at all. Yep. 
leaky in the efficiency. Um, so this will be where this will be very interesting. Mm. Most people will think technology, uh, AI, flash face, jailbreak, all those things are where you're going to find that speed back okay. from that inf- that efficiency. One little thing that I've noticed over the years is generally. Most of the time, stiffer shafts produce more energy than softer shafts. Right. So you think we might be losing efficiency? Yeah, right and now. this will be a great way to identify that, Matty, whether sure. uh, we are able to give you something that's m- more stable than this. This is only a stiff flex, and we know we need you in something stronger than that. Mm-hmm. I'm expecting to see that efficiency change quite a bit. I would also think that I would swing a bit faster once I have something that I feel comfortable you with. You could. I mean, I think the shaft could be contributing to acceleration and head speed. Right. But that acceleration and head speed is probably going to result in actually your loss of, of efficiency. Gotcha. Because that shaft is in so much in, in lead deflection that it's contributing too much. Mm-hmm. It's not actually accelerating into the golf ball. It has accelerated it's finished. as it's, it hits the golf yeah. ball. Gotcha. Those are quite different things. All right, let's All right. Uh, dive Begin. in. Oh, a black shot tracer. That is slick. You like that? I do. Yeah, it looks cool. <laughs> looks angry and mean. Beautiful. It already feels better. I feel like I'm hitting bullets, but I feel that I have control of the club face again. Or not even so much control, I just feel that it's coming back to square without me going crazy with it. Without getting overly excited about two shots. Yeah. There's your speed. Oh, okay. Your delivered loft is different. Yeah, good call, but it's different. 0.3 efficiency is a lot of efficiency. Yeah. So your same speed, you just get more out of it. You're delivering a little bit less loft. Now, why are you delivering less loft? Because the face is square. I don't want people to look mm. at this and think all mm. of a sudden the launch has come down because it's a tip stiff shaft good point it is not that's not what's happening here it was wipey with the old one it was it was open yeah it was just open. it was just wide open good so point. that's where the uh, the issues and that's right. what they call dynamic law because it's Correct. it's not just based on one yeah. direction it's yeah. open and closed too but lovely to see that that speed yeah definitely right back there okay okay probably a bit lower on the face but i would take it for sure yeah, it's still quite a powerful looking flight, isn't it's it? It's nice and flat. Boring. Yep. Not bad though. Barely, eh? Yeah, not bad. So your lower flight came from just dropping below the CG? Yeah. Yeah, lower launch, higher spin. Yeah. So early on here, we are seeing significant shaft contribution towards speed. It's night and day. I could get that one squared up. Where is it? The yellow shaft squared up if I really tried. Yeah. But I really <laughs> tried. Plus, when I tried flipping it, then my strike pattern went to crap. Like yeah. that wasn't, that wasn't comfortable. That's for sure. Okay, let's hit one more. Yeah, that's a decent swing, but it's the head can't can't uh, manage a high strike very well. Spin goes to zero. Mm. Bet quite a lot of ball speed drop just by straying uh, away from the. The sweet spot, and obviously remember by pulling that CG down, Mm. a 13 millimeter high strike is straying not just away from the middle of the club, but away from the center of the mass. So we could, I know this, it's less than people think, but it's for illustration. It's it's, it's a few millimeters. We've pulled it down below center. So now that high strike is effectively maybe closer to 20 millimeters high. Um, Maybe not that much, maybe like, yeah, like 16, 16, 17. Something to think about though. It's not nothing. All right, let's throw some different shafts in there. Yeah, I didn't mind that. I didn't mind it. All right, TPT, yep. 15 high, shaft you've liked in the past. Definitely. Very curious to see how this one does for you. Last one was close. Mm-hmm. This one's a little bit softer in the tip section. Mm. Uh, little lower balance point, just give you that sense of kind of lots of awareness of what's going on down at the bottom. You feel the head more for sure. Yeah, yep. try and see if you can kind of match that up with a really square face. Okay. It's 
Nice flight on that. That is known as a really square face. Oh, lovely. The 300 yard carry bullet fade. That's a lot of carry for. Yeah, there's nothing much more you're going to get out of a fade at that speed. Wow. That's as much as you'll ever get. That felt really good. I know it's a little right, but that felt. Yeah, you like felt, the feel of that? I don't know, it just felt poppy. Where's my tea? A little bit of a toe side strike, but nice. I'd imagine it'll just be kind of slower. Yeah, like 167? Probably. It sounded kind of loud off the face. Oh, okay, take that back. 171. Quicker so swing, I guess, to be fair. You lost a little bit of um, launch. Yeah. It's <clears> funny, <throat> I think miss hits are starting to feel better with these shaft changes. I feel a lot less kind of, I think my bad strikes with the, the first shaft felt really awful. Mm -hmm. That one was, that last one wasn't a good strike and the result didn't feel too bad and it flew nice. Look what we're starting to see now. We're starting to see big ball speed jumps. Crazy. Big ball speed jumps. Yeah, I like that Ventus, but I, I didn't feel that it suited my timing as well as this. Okay. I just feel the Yeah, you're really liking this, eh? It's, it just seems to bring the club back nice and, nice and square for me. I like it. That's nice. We've got a fan here, folks. Fan of the TPT. So as we were talking off camera, like if there was ever a, a bit of a fantasy fitting, this might be it. <laughs> Throwing a $500 shaft in a bargain basement driver. Paint the, paint the picture. <laughs> Guy <laughs> walks in, seven-year-old driver, <laughs> been using it, you know, economies and in a rough shape and try to save a few bucks. And the shaft that he walks out with is a seven hundred dollar Canadian, Canadian shaft. shaft. Yeah. Um, we might argue this is a rare scenario. This this is fantasy land run right now because the guy who walks in with this is unlikely to be yeah. convinced that regardless of how good it is and how much he likes it, that he's going to drop seven hundred bucks on a, a, a upgrade into his old faithful. Perfect um, segue for you. Someone has around. 800, 900 Canadian to spend. Yeah. Are they going to get better value out of a shaft from the wall that's in a lower price point mm -hmm. and a new head? Is that the direction to go? Are, are we so much over indexing on the shaft here? I think it if depends. It, if I was objective. Yeah, it I depends on, on a lot of things. Like if you walked in and a lot of these shots you've been peppering the middle. Mm. So say you just showed me that all you do is just wear out the middle of the club. I don't really need to worry too much about Matt's miss hits. Yep. You know, he's a really, really good uh, player. He finds a sweet spot often. I'm going to find him a shaft that he can just transfer that energy and max that out. I'm, I don't really have to try to influence, you know, your control panel. Which is what the point of something this expensive is. It's super consistent, yeah. super sort of, you know, there's no variances. Swing to swing, if you swing the same, yeah. you should get the same result. So that's what I'm, you know, that's what I'm paying for. But like, it's a bit of fun. It's mostly for you guys anyway. <laughs> this video. It's not like I actually am going to play this. So, um, I like this feel. I like this a lot. I mean, from when we started, what were we? 166. Mm -hmm. I expected you'd get like 168 and a half. I didn't think we'd pop into 170s given the same swing speed. Yeah, we had a couple of swings. We had a couple of ball speeds at 170 the first time around, but. We didn't live there. It was like no, a rare it was low thing. Ones. Yeah. Um, okay, hit, hit two more with that sure. one, and I've got a couple other shafts here. Okay. That's a better swing. Oh, that's nice. It's kind of a bullet fairway finder. Okay, so like here, it. here we're going to go the opposite. Ooh, like it. This is probably more of a a real life scenario okay. where someone walks in with this particular head looking for value, mm. you kind of know where they're going with it. So I'm thinking this guy maybe has 300 bucks in his pocket. Perfect. He wants to spend 300 bucks and I'm going to try and get the best performance he can get for that. All right, budget conscious golfer. Okay, so these are a good price point also here. Yep, great um, versatile shaft, really good quality and a very sort of reasonable price point. Good. Loop 
Mississippi. Probably a little low. Face feels nice and square. I I'm probably just haven't struck the first two as well. Oh, does it ever want to go in the low part of the head? Interesting. Wait till you see. A lot. Yeah, wait till you see how low that is. Again, I think the face is getting really square, but I'm it's changing my strike pattern substantially. Okay. Pretty, pretty interesting. Out. Look at that. I mean, you know me pretty well. How often do I hit three low? Rare. Very rare. Interesting. All right. Fuji Pro Tour Specs 6X. Love it. An old favorite. An old flame. <laughs> Always nice to revisit. <laughs> don't start that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hello. Oh, it feels eat. so familiar. <laughs> All right. Ooh. Look good. Sound good. Okay, just a little high in the head. Yep. We may want to, if we see that, but we see quite, quite centered about touch high, we may want to raise that CG, flip that okay. alpha plug around. In fact, let's do that right now, so based on where you struck those last two. So you've got, the, you've got the strike moved back up. Yes. That is not benefiting you to move the strike away from the CG. Gotcha, so that should be almost counter counterproductive right now, yep. the way it is, gotcha. Okay, so we should see the spin spike a little bit. In that same region, yeah. yeah. I mean, we don't want to spin at 1200, so. Well, that's gonna be an awfully good example. <laughs> I think I struck it in the exact same spot. <laughs> Wouldn't that be wild if the spin was Watch, like- It's like 2000 for sure, I, I guarantee. 1000 more. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> as soon as I hit it, I could feel like I struck it high, but the ball was flying somewhat properly. That's crazy, dude. Look at that. It was actually a bit worse because it was in the toe and it still held on. 900 more for our, basically the same strike. Okay. Well, I mean, if you want to know if an adjustable driver works, it works. That's <clears throat> pretty cool. I'm liking this one for you. It's not bad. Yeah. It's definitely not bad. nice oh old flame that's like a proper golf course swing and strike i think that'll be more in the center Probably like so playable so now we're giving you a couple of price options yes this is mo much more reasonable um way more playable and affordable like ball speed retention oh. is superb it is launch and spin are in a really safe window strike is back this is no joke ticking all the boxes this guy i actually kind of like that you you also fit the head a bit too. Yeah, yeah, we, and, and that's a part of it. It's fun. If you're coming in with a head, make sure that the, the fitter is addressing all the possibilities of that head. Because that sucked in the, in the setting for me. Mm -hmm. It was wrong. You flipped that, plus got a shaft that struck uh, in the right part of the head with the right kind of face angle, and it's a really nice result. Yeah, that's crazy, dude. Start to see some real big ball speed gains. Five miles an hour. Yeah, it's, and it's not, not a distance thing at all. It's just an optimization thing. I just think, you look at 12 launch 1800 is is unstable and unreliable you know 10 10 in that efficiency is so much better you get way more out of it yeah so you're delivering you're delivering speed within one mile an hour and you're delivering energy the same mm. energy through loft right yes. it, it, loft is pressure to a golf ball loft yeah. pr plus speed equals pressure so it's not that we're all of a sudden de-lofting and that's Correct. why it's faster it's the same yeah Quite interesting. Yeah, better strike. Face angle within one degree. You're just one degree more square. Um, hit a couple more. I wouldn't sure. mind just, yeah. uh, this is starting just to validate feel this one, make sure we're happy with it. Yeah. I mean, good I mess, eh? Left that a fraction open, but that's... The, Safe. It's in, the, it's in the edge of a fairway. That's really good. It's really good. It actually kind of now feels like a decent driver. You know what I mean? Yeah. I would never play golf with that, with the original one in there and the original weight, but the way you've set this up, this is, I still think it's gonna be more unstable over time than 
I mean, it will be it for will sure. Be, but it's 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 definitely better. It's no question you've improved that significantly. We've closed the gap, haven't we? 100%. Yeah, we're, exactly. We've exactly. closed the gap. We're 171, 10 and a half, 2,000. We're really happy with that. Flight looks good. Dispersion is, is phenomenal. Yeah. Really start to dial in. Worlds apart. That's what, really what good. What is likely to happen, I think, Matty, in, mm. in, in time over the next little while as we see the opportunity to improve drivers by less? Mm. We probably will see drivers start to go a little smaller in head. Um, so they'll start to use maybe profiles a bit more like this again. While they will use, they have other ways to raise MOI, yeah. they'll probably decrease head size a little bit because aerodynamics mm. are more suited towards slightly smaller Plus, heads. like aesthetics. People like that. A nice compact. The thing mm -hmm. is, the only reason I look at this and, and this and don't like it is because I know the smaller head means it's way more unstable. Yeah. If you knew it was just as stable, you might prefer the smaller head. Absolutely. It's a good point. That's a good, I think that's a nice little prediction of what might occur in drivers next I think, five I years. I think that's very, very likely and having listened to some, some people talk about it and some of the trade-offs uh, that, that come with large head and, mm. and sort of aerodynamics is, a, is an issue. And things like turbulators and, and sort of tracks on the bottom as, as what, speed breakers, all those things are trying to accommodate these large heads. True. So if you can go down, I mean, that's still for six days, we know. Yeah, just a different way of doing it. But it's just a different profile. Very cool. This was fun. Good day. Eh? I, I, would, I would say this did a lot better than I expected. Way better than I expected. I did not expect you to live in 170 and 171 every swing. Yeah, I think it, you, you took it from a 5 out of 10 yeah. to closer to an 8.5. Yeah. You know, if my driver's a 10 in terms yeah. of how good it is, this is, it's, it's inching its way up there. You would, you'd be quite happy to invest in that product, knowing that when you take it to the golf course, you've taken it to a, a, you know, a mechanic who's maybe tuned up the engine a little bit. They've exactly. maybe added a few extra horsepower. Some, some tuning has went into the, 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 the club. It's not a full new car. Yeah. The full new car would cost two and a half times that price yeah. with the shaft but I've taken something that I've already paid for many years ago yeah. and I've put a few hundred bucks into it and, and obviously your time as a fitter and that's it. Giving it a little upgrade and, and you're going to be pretty happy with, with gaming this for, for another couple of years. Like I could play golf with this. You, you, you for sure could. If something happened, I, in, I don't know, I couldn't get drivers anymore and mm. I had to play this, I'd be fine with it. You'd be happy. It's fine. Happy-ish. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Nice. Well guys, hopefully that's given a lot of you some food for thought and, and maybe in these difficult times when you know, disposable income is it's not going to be what it was maybe six months ago. Certainly in our mindset, that's going to be the case. If you are looking to upgrade your equipment, have a look at doing something like this, whether yeah. it's visiting a store, making sure you're working with fitters that understand the components of your old head. It's not just about knowing what these shafts do. You've got to understand how the shaft and the head will work together, knowing how they can evolve and you can modify the setup specifically for matching up with that shaft that like we did for Matt there. So, so um your know, depth of knowledge is, is going to be more important in, in the next few months and probably the next year or so than, than ever before. So make sure you do your research and you're going to go and do some testing with, with people that you can truly trust. I think awesome. That's important. Yeah, good job. Okay. Guys, thanks so much for watching. We'll see you soon.